The Atlanta Falcons will go to the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday, November 13th in Week 10 NFL action. After starting 4-1, the Atlanta Falcons had consecutive losses against the Seahawks and the Chargers. A fourth quarter comeback win over the Packers stopped the bleeding, and now the Falcons have the opportunity to stay hot with a trip to Philadelphia to battle the Eagles. The Atlanta Falcons are sitting at 6-3, both straight up and against the spread. Eight of Atlanta's nine games have gone over the total, which is a testament to Kyle Shanahan, whose offensive play design is second to none in the NFL. The Falcons have averaged 34 points per game, and Matt Ryan is having a career year. The Atlanta Falcons have had back-to-back -back road games in Denver and Seattle, home games against San Diego and Green Bay, and then a Thursday night football matchup in Tampa Bay. Through it all, Matt Ryan has been superb. The former Boston College quarterback is having a career year with a 69.6% .6 completion rate and a 23-4 touchdown interception ratio. The Falcons may have found their missing piece with the signing of Alex Mack, as the offensive line has opened holes for Devonta Freeman and Tevin Coleman and has given Matt Ryan enough time to go through his progressions more often than not. Atlanta has scored 37 more points than any other team in the NFL and has 253 more yards than the next closest team. Surprisingly, the defense under head coach Dan Quinn has not progressed the way the offense has. The Falcons have allowed a 68.1% completion rate against and four yards per carry so far on the season. The Falcons have allowed 1,204 yards after the catch, but they're only allowing 10.5 yards per catch, so it's simply a matter of volume. Atlanta has allowed 24 more completions than any other defense. Teams are forced to keep pace with Atlanta's offense, so they've been throwing an extensive amount. The nice thing about that for Atlanta this week is that Philadelphia's passing attack is not great. The Philadelphia Eagles are down to 4-4 four and four straight up and against the spread after suffering their fourth loss in five games against the Giants last weekend. If things hold as they are, the Eagles will be favored for the first time since October 16th when they lost outright as a three-point favorite to Washington. The Eagles opened the season 3-0 straight up and against the spread, but it has been all downhill since the bye week. Carson Wentz has completed 64.4% of his passes with just a 9-5 touchdown interception ratio. There has not been a whole lot of downfield action for the Eagles, who averaged just 10.7 yards per catch. It's more about throwing to possession receivers and Darren Sproles than anything else. Sproles has been far more productive than Ryan Matthews, and comments by Doug Peterson would imply that Sproles will have a much bigger workload this weekend. The Eagles' defense was one of the top units in the NFC for a while at the outset of the 2016 season, but things have regressed recently. They've limited opposing quarterbacks to a 57.8% success rate, and opposing receivers have only managed 754 yards after the catch. Unfortunately, the Eagles haven't faced a really good passing attack since their game against Pittsburgh in September. The Eagles' secondary is going to be tested here this week, and they may not be up to the challenge. Philadelphia's lone saving grace may be that they play at one of the slowest tempos in the NFL, so they could grind this game to a halt and keep Atlanta off the field that way. Atlanta would be the preferred side here, and the under would have some serious interest with Philadelphia's very slow pace. This is the highest total of the season for the Eagles, which makes sense given how Atlanta has been offensively this year. In any event, the Falcons are just a better team right now, and they have additional time to dissect soft spots in this Jim Schwartz defense. The Eagles played four out of five games on the road and then get to come home to face a rested team. It's a bad spot for Philadelphia. Our pick and prediction is for the Atlanta Falcons at plus one. Click over now and check out all the NFL and NCAA football odds on the board and make a few wagers at BetDSI.com.